Mr. Farley, didn't I tell you if I ever caught you impersonating a lawyer again, I'd lock you up with your client? Well, no, Your Honor, you must be confusing me with that other guy. I'm Matt Foley, motivational speaker. Hey, hey, hey. That's not what his card says, heavy sitter. <laughs> I've seen enough. I've heard enough. Mr. Foley, you're serving 25 days with your client. <gasps> hey, but I helped you catch the bad man. No, son. You ratted on a doofus. And nobody likes a tattletale. 25 days, and you're doing your time. Twenty-five days for snitching. Bailiff, take them both out of here. Let's go. Get the big handcuffs. The big ones. Are you gonna hurt me now? What for? I get three square meals of cot and food, and I don't have to live in a van down by the river. I asked you both to come in here on a Saturday because we have the biggest backload of cases in the United States and we've got to take extraordinary measures to get some work done. If we're here on a Saturday, why are we wearing robes? Well, they do kind of smell, but they get me in the mood to do justice, so let's get, let's get down to it. The first one's a criminal law matter. It's a first-time DUI, but it's up here on a writ. Is this the one we've been discussing for the last couple months? It is. Pretty serious stuff. Looks like this guy's facing about six months of probation. Uh, we certainly don't want to play with someone's life when it's that serious of a potential punishment. So why don't I take this home for the next two to three weekends? Maybe I'll try to get a brief out to us so we can really understand the issue and not jeopardize this poor gentleman's you know, history. Thank you, Justice. You're a credit to the state. Thank you. Uh, the next one, well, if you can tell by the thickness of it, is a construction defect matter. Oh. We all know those are very serious. Uh, it affects all of our lives, all of our children's lives, all of our grandchildren's lives running around the townhomes and the condominiums that seem to be affected by this serious, serious dilemma in Nevada. So why don't I follow the justice's lead here and uh, take this home with me and, and treat it very seriously so we can uh, properly adjudicate this issue. Thank you, Justice. We're getting a lot of work done here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's a family lock case. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Not again. Vicky, Vicky, yeah. Oh. No, we're not. It's not funny. Someone let a family law matter in here. Oh. I, I know. I told them not to anymore. Is there a law clerk or someone that can do this? They're busy doing serious matters. They can't do. They don't have time for a family law case. Any ideas? Wait. Listen, did I tell them? You add everything up. You divide by two. We're best interest. We can. We affirm whatever the lower court does. Well, That's all they have to do. Yeah. But but wait a second. A couple of years ago, didn't uh, that gentleman down, uh, the janitor from facilities, what was How? his name? How? How? Yeah. How? yeah. Didn't he help us out and write that uh, the veil decision? Yeah, that one almost made sense, too. That's right. So, yeah, can you give me Hal? I don't care if he's cleaning toilets. I need to talk to him. Hey, Hal, how are you doing? Yeah, it's the Supremes again. Yeah. No, no, you don't need to rush up here. We're just doing a family law case. So you finish cleaning those toilets. That's much more important. Yeah, it's another, I don't know, something about a kid or something. Is the kid 18 yet? Maybe we could just hold it till they're 18. Well, that's what we usually do, but it's going to be 10 years, and that's even too long for us. So we oh, got to do something. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you'll do. Well, yeah, we'll let you wear the robe again. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Al. You're a lifesaver. Shit, can it? Okay. okay. Next case. My God, what a disaster. Everybody in Reno is a fashion victim. I feel like I'm in the middle of a white trash nightmare. What do you expect? We're not in Las Vegas where silk shirts and silicone bolt-ons are the norm. Gentlemen, in the words of Justin Timberlake, cry me a river. Now let's see who needs our help the most.
haven't been so happy since Ricky Martin sang at the Grammys. <laughs> Recently, there has been a retirement that has shook the Washoe County Family Court to its core. This person has been the heart and soul of family court for over 20 years. I remember being an elementary school student and coming to visit the family courts. And you were our tour guide. And you were such an inspiration that you led me into a life of family law. Thank you for all your help for these years. You've been the glue that's held the family court together. Hey, congratulations on your retirement. I remember Ron Logar telling me stories about when he started out and you were here in the 60s, and he said you were an inspiration to him then, and you've been an inspiration to all of us since then. Thank you. It's been an honor to work with you. You'll be sorely missed. Here comes the man of the hour. You know, maybe it's time to get out and get a real job. It's a little extreme to be a law clerk for 20 years. show all the new law clerks around. Judge Jordan likes to start each day with a daily affirmation. Come on. Welcome. Join the circle of inner peace. Okay, I think the energy's right. We're, We're good enough. enough. We're, We're smart, smart enough. enough. And God started. Everybody, everybody likes, likes Department 11. 11. Okay, everybody, let's go out and spread some positive energy around the world. I've got a settlement conference in Chambers. I'd like to invite you to join me. Frank, please show the parties in. Not the lawyers. They spoil the magic. Welcome, kindred spirits. Come in and have a seat, but please remove your shoes before you enter. Don't touch me. Shut up. So I understand you're both seeking custody of your child. Jed, she's not fit. She slept with everyone in town. She's like a bicycle. Everyone gets a turn. You're one to talk. Anything that breathes or moves, male, female, or other. Stop it, both of you. What's in a label, anyway? If the exercise ball of knowledge has taught me anything, it's that there's room in your child's life for both of you. I'd like you to take each other's hands, look into each other's eyes, and repeat three times, our child is our legacy. Our, our child, child is, is our, our legacy. legacy. Our, our child, child is, is our, our legacy. legacy. You're right, Judge. I'll share Custy. She's a good mom. I'm so sorry. I don't even want a divorce. Let's try again. I do too. Judge, you're a wise man. Thank you for showing us the air of our ways. Come on. <laughs> See, Frank? The world seeks tranquility. Now please give me a minute. I need to be alone with my fountain to restore my aura. I heard Family Corps was touchy-feely, but I had no idea. I wonder if General Jurisdiction is hiring. Please be seated. The court is now prepared to render a ruling in this difficult case. 
I want you to know that I have spent hours and hours in deliberation on these matters. There's been many witnesses and many different claims that I've had to ponder about, but I find that the wife's attorney, Mr. Oster, has proven that the opposing party has stolen all of the community assets and hidden them in various overseas accounts. And I find that the defendant husband has proven that the wife has falsely claimed that the children have been abused. And you know what? I've been asking myself over and over again, you guys are good people. How did you ever get yourself into this kind of situation? Anyway, after all these witnesses, I've asked both attorneys to submit proposals. And after my long review and consideration, I adopt Mrs. Smith's proposal. Congratulations, ma'am. <laughs> But your honor, what about our dispositive exhibit number four? Okay, I rule in favor of Mr. Smith. The court will now be in recess. Yeah! Yeah! Your honor, what about our witness three? Exhibit three is duplicious. It was rendered by a horse's ass, and I'm on my way to Hawaii. Court is in recess. <laughs> Does that mean you want or we want? Ely Beer presents Great Moments in Judicial Election History. Born December 7th, 1941, to Broomhilda and Morty Del Vecchio in Winnemucca, Nevada, Nicholas Anthony Del Vecchio was a small and colicky child with a face only a mother could love. But growing up friendless, left little Nicky with plenty of time to read, study, and ponder the many injustices of life. Nick and I uh, grew up together. Uh, Nick was younger than me, but he always looked older than me. And he was my Sunday school teacher, and when we wanted to get drunk, well, wait a minute, statute, yeah, statute of limitations is run on this, so I can tell about it. Uh, Nick would go and buy all the beer and distribute it to all of his uh, students in this Sunday school class and then we'd go out and party it up afterwards and sometimes he'd even slip us into a strip club. As Nick found acceptance amongst the deviants and lowlifes, his reputation grew as a man who could solve problems. Nick, I was supposed to be home an hour ago. My wife's gonna kill me. I, I'm not supposed to be drinking. I got a great idea. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna stage a mugging I'm going to hit you over, head, over the head with this bottle. The contents of the bottle will mask the odor of alcohol emanating from your person. The concussion you receive will cover for the slurred speech and impaired motor skills. Are you ready? Okay, can I have a drink first? You might need that. Okay. Ready? Ready. And... One last thing. Oh, One oh, last oh. thing. To, hey, hey, hey what, remember, what? remember, oh. remember oh. the story. What's you the just story? got mugged. Mug? You can't come home with any money. Well, I'll just hold on to this for you. Let's go get oh. you a cab, friend. Oh. Oh. A talent for bullshit and alcoholics oh. also qualified him for the practice of law. So after six years of night school, a degree in janitorial engineering, and five more years of law school, a newly minted lawyer was released to Las Vegas, the natural habitat of deviates and reprobates. Hi, my name is Gypsy LaRue. I graduated from Winnemucca High School with Judge Nick. Now, we were in the same class because I was always that child left behind. But don't get me wrong, Nick, Judge Nick, never looked down at me. He did occasionally look up my mini. Judge Nick always was a gentleman. It was only after the third time that he bailed me out that he tweaked my titty. No wardrobe malfunction, mind you, but Judge Nick will always be the patron saint of the strippers. As Nick's reputation grew, so did his ambitions. Yes, I must admit, I'm living proof to the incompetence of the general voting public, no doubt about that. And you know, they actually do call that the people